This is the biggest tank of green aqua. This is what, I, what I'm going to escape today. <laughs> This is the biggest tank of green aqua. This is what we're going to escape in the coming weeks. It's going to be a long and big work. We're going to have two episodes of scaping for you. The first episode will be about the hardscape, about the design. Joseph is here to help us. We've been wondering with Victor what kind of tanks do we want to make at Green Aqua. We wanted to do something that is really natural, that is really good. We have a number of Iwagumi scapes right here made by Fukada-san and made by Tomi. We have a lot of rock formations everywhere. What we didn't do actually is a forest, a bonsai forest style tank. So we're gonna do that today. Stay with us. We had a short brainstorming session with Victor in the previous days and he told me that I should really use two types of wood. The manzanita wood that's coming from the US, from our friend Tom Barr. And we've got a new type of wood that uh, was brought to us by our Croatian friend and we want to combine these two. This looks like a gin. So my idea is to have the bonsai analogy coming back. So you have gins, you have apex, you have the, the branches. And why do we have five pieces? Because of the rule of uh, odd numbers. Nature doesn't think in terms of even numbers. Okay. Perfect. Okay, this is ready. I suggest we should mount uh, this uh, woods to the plexiglass. Because we could move it better. How do we fasten it to the bottom glass? What we can do is we apply some glue on it. We screw the trees to the plexiglass and then we glue the plexiglass to the bottom plate. Oh, okay. So that it won't, the whole thing won't float up. Moment of truth. Should I stand back? <laughs> Just do it already. Let's push it. Yeah. Uh -uh. No, let's let's cut it. We need big screws, long and big. The head of this screw would stick out a little bit at the bottom. 
which is not going to be a problem. This would wobble if uh, this would stick out, but it's not a problem because we're going to have the glue anyways and we're going to fill the gap with glue. And this will hold this little thing to that, this little branch. It's fine, it's no problem. I think we should leave this last because I'm not sure how much I want to tilt this. He's been doing this many times before. He's the foil expert at Green Aqua. <laughs> What are you doing? Finish the ice cream, it's empty. Did you eat the whole box? The roots on the left side should lean leftwards. The roots on the right side should lean outwards. So you will have the nice island composition opening. It's like somebody coming and, and opening their arms towards the viewer. Now the central piece is vertical, the central branch is vertical, and the whole thing is opening. This one is obviously right because it was blown by the wind and it just fell, but it still survived. This is okay. But the rest of the trees are all standing up, except this one, which is standing up but leaning in the opposite direction. So that, that for me does not make any sense. So if we put this whole thing in the back there. Then we have a forest. The only problem that I have is that this thing is not in the center. What I don't like is this very 
uniform line. We need to break this somehow. Wow, this helped it enormously. So let's see what kind of sand or pebbles are we gonna use here. These two go together quite well. So we've got the detail with the aqua gravel, and I think I'm gonna use the Zanzibar River from JBL, hoping that it's not too white. We could use the Serio stones to accentuate the bonsai look, the bonsai forest look. Okay, got it. We don't have an end point visible in this tank. This is an island composition. So all I want to do is to bring back the center of attention towards us. But these two will create a tension because this will create a, a line to the left and this one will create a line to the right. So you will have a tension, but then all other things which just turn your attention back to the center. powder type. I'm gonna add the powder type on top. It's gonna be easier to plant in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna elevate the substrate a little bit more along the two sides to have a valley in the middle. I want to put some rocks at the bottom of this to cover this and it would look like the tree just grew up of the rock and just Smash the rock. We don't have my favorite La Plata sand on stock. It's coming, it's on a big ship towards Hungary. We don't have it now. That is the problem, because I would use it without thinking. Now we have to find an alternative, which is a good challenge for us. The wedding sand? You didn't even have a wedding, Sebi. But I attended. So why, oh, you attended the wedding. You were just jealous. I think uh, we're gonna add a lot of details now, but this is the end of the first episode of building this tank. Please subscribe to Green Aqua YouTube channel if you didn't do so yet. Hit that like button if you like this hardscape. Next week we're gonna plant it, or maybe in two weeks, I'm not sure. And also don't forget that we have a membership if you want to support the video production. We welcome all your help in that. 
We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Chubby is explaining to me that this guy is helping this guy <laughs> or doing something. <laughs> I mean, just, just trying to push it like that. Nothing special, right? <laughs> when somebody chokes, the Heimlich move. <laughs> and, and, they're sneaky because they're doing it behind the tree. <laughs> so Chubby, our camera operator, says, this is grandma and he's coming with <laughs> Don't do that! So every picture, tells a story, right? Very important. <laughs> this is the story of this bonsai forest escape. Should we say goodbye? <laughs> is, this, is, this, is this video over now?